Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous video, we covered how can we um, hit dynamic APIs. Um, we created a new block and we uh, consumed an API and we saw how it works. Now in this video, first we will cover uh, the form component or block we have. We will see how can we configure it and then let's see what we can learn. Okay, so I have opened this uh, Adobe documentation. Adobe documentations are amazing because whenever I am stuck or at least for my learning perspective, I always open the documentation and I find my answer. Okay, so what it says again, uh, example form is given, live content is given, content structure, the document. Okay, some definitions of the form fields here, uh, what have been used here and finally the, the code. So one thing is the with boilerplate template we don't get this code uh, the the form block so we need to add it in our code repository for that is first thing so let's open it i'll just open this code and again the same thing it's simple under blocks we'll create a new folder we'll just add these js over there and our work is done i'll just open the not here but sorry here i'll create a new block the name of block is form form and form.css form.js form fields.js let's create form.css form.js and the third one was form fields.js right i'll just and notepad plus plus is my favorite editor all time because i don't know i just love it okay i'll just open the js one by one the files one by one and i will copy it quickly this is the uh, js file form fields.js simple then i'll open the form.css copy it and the form.js oh, i copied yeah copied So simple right very quick i'll commit my changes to my feature branch okay pushed the changes are pushed next thing is of course i need to create a the, the form fails that table i need to create i can create but i am i just i'm just becoming lazy so what i will do i'll just create content from this given document it's simple what it says again that uh, the uh, the way same in table the first row would be your block name so copy it paste it and what it says it says uh, this is my form block and these are the fields right this json is nothing but the fields so if i open it these are the fields right so let's try them uh, i have created it i think it looks good to me i'll just preview it and the same mistake what i always do the changes i have pushed to my main feature branch sorry my feature branch right my feature branch and i always check on main branch so just change it to my feature
and I still see it's not reflecting and uh, see I am also trying it for first time so maybe see this URL right uh, this is of a main Hylix okay let's do one thing we already have this JSON with us so what I'm trying is maybe I'll just copy paste it in my repository and then I will refer it let me try that yeah okay let's try that so we have this json here I'll copy paste it this JSON I copy paste it and I'll put it here I copy paste the whole JSON and I'll save it here the same path where I have and I'll write it as form dot JSON Okay, let's see if it is there yeah form.json is here it's very quick i can push it right away i'll just push it to the repository yeah it's here let's add it commit it yes close it and now let's try to access so the path is I'll just go to the documentation here and I can see my form is loading here my form.json is loading here the path where I have saved inside blocks form form.json okay so I will just copy this path and I'll go here and I think this is my file if I'm not wrong is this my file yes this is my file and I'll change it to my file yes let's preview it if it works And finally, after a little bit of struggle, I found what was the issue in the JSON file. And I will just explain what was the issue. There were two issues. So first issue was, uh, there was something wrong with the, uh, this JSON file. It was breaking and I will just show. I am not sure why it is breaking. It is the out of the box one. But this was one of the issue. And the second issue was uh, there was one typo. So the typo I have removed. Control Y. And let me show first that it was breaking with this. So I'll just commit this first. We'll show that it, it was break. I'll refresh it. Okay, this change is here. I will add it. Commit. And commit the changes very quick. Okay, this is done. And if I'll go back to the form, let's inspect mode and I will refresh it. So there is a console level error. So something is breaking on this 404 found, which is after the box one. But it's okay. I think it and this is just a field. I think this is a state field. It's okay. This is just a demo. What we want to show is actual form is loading or not. I'll just delete only this section I'm going to delete I'll save it now and uh, let me refresh it form.json file add it it is very quick to be true and commit it and this time if I'll refresh 
don't know don't need these debuggers anymore let me close it I think it is taking time, just a second, just, I'll just pause and start. And finally it's loaded. We can see uh, a form, a beautiful form where we have the submit button. Maybe I'll try, I'll create another video where we will submit the form fields. So all in all, what we have observed in this video as well as uh, with the previous video that with the Franklin project, it is possible to have dynamic functionalities like submission of form or hitting the third party APIs, getting data from any REST based service that is possible. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected.